fire alarms going off. Things are getting crazy here. It is storage pallet auction day. I bought one pallet with four totes for $25. What's inside of them? Let's find out. That doesn't sound good in there. Alrighty, so I did a little fitting. I actually have five totes. So five totes for $25 at the storage pallet auction. So yes, everything is on pallets. And you have to take everything except the pallet. So uh, fortunately, Taco Stacks is also at this auction so I could put my totes in his van. These totes would have fit in my vehicle. Um, but you have to remember that when you go to these auctions, you have to take everything. So if you're bidding on a pallet that has a couch, a chair, a desk, you gotta take it. But $25 for five totes. We can look or peek in the totes on the top. You can't like rearrange and start digging. So this tote, the one tote that I looked at had paperwork <laughs> and I think a DVD player. I don't know. Maybe there's some unused gift cards in there. And the other one had clothes, but there were three that no one looked at and no one bothered to touch because they were on the bottom. So let's get into it. This first tote is very, very heavy. Oh, and I gotta get, we gotta get some scissors, as my art teacher used to say, and break this bad boy open. All right, so let's look at this tote first. It's very heavy, and when I moved it, it sounded like broken glass. Let's hope not. I'm actually really excited to go through these. Now, it's like buying a storage unit, but not because you don't have to clean up the whole entire unit. So you just take the boxes and, and leave. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? All right, let's move you guys down so we can enjoy this together. Wow. Maybe I was a little too excited because this is not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> we have Reynolds wrap. I will not be using this because it's open. Uh, oh, Ziploc bags, but again, I don't know. I have plates. So if I need plates and Tupperware and, ooh, Rosetto Esteban. That's actually nice. It has like an old, older label. That's actually pretty. At least that didn't break because I see some other broken things in here. Man, what if this is filled with Pyrex? All rare Pyrex. You have asparagus and a radish. Noritake. Oh, I see the damage. For you lovers of the milk glass, shield your eyes because it's all broken. This is all dishes. Here. Here's a little shot glass. Oh, that's like a decanter um, set. That's actually really nice. I mean, I don't know if it's worth $25, but I'm sure at the flea market I could get some money for it. And some more dishes. Totally today. Made in China. More broken glassware. I want to get to the wrap stuff. Without causing more day I mean all these plates in the bottom are completely busted what's this cutie oh this is adorable it's it almost reminds you of like a little I was gonna say sake set but um it's not but that's really cute with the bunny on it we all love that broken yeah this would have been uh uh, Pyrex. We would have been in the money, but instead we have broken totally today made in China plates. And that's what this all is. It's broken milk glass and broken other glass. Cheers. Tote number two, but first I found the stopper. And little did I know, because I'm not versed in glassware, this is Murano glass, and it's a decanter. Hopefully, the other uh, little glasses are in the tote amongst all the broken things, and they're not broken. 
So I, I don't know. You know, prices are crazy. People have them on Etsy. They're sold on Etsy. They're sold on eBay. They're sold on Worth Point. So we'll have to see. But hey, I think that's pretty nice to find that amongst all that broken milk glass. So let's get to tote number two. Shoes. Let's tilt it so you can see. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe they're ties? Ties. Paolo, Paolo de Quinto, 100% silk made in Italy. This is all ties. You need a tie? I have a few. Bill Kaiserman, Raphael. I know nothing about ties as well, so. Countess Wa uh, Wara, I think, New York. So these look like a little bit older. Anton's Gentleman Apparel. But a whole. This is Perry Ellis. That's a little bit newer ish. But shoot, you could have. I, could, I might have a good tie in here. I was not expecting ties. This one looks kind of fancy. Look at that guy. Oh, that's that Countess Wera, I think. Daniel Craig, Italian silk. And then we have some shoes. Unlisted, what are these? Top Cider. Calvin Klein jeans. And they're not Nikes, so. Kenneth Cole. Giorgio, not Armani, <laughs> Giorgio Brutini. Pepper, pepper something or other. Huh. Well, we got shoes. Ooh. Attention, men's. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Tie, shoes, and a decanter. So this third tote looks to be a lot of personal paperwork, magazines. We also have a Monopoly game piece from McDonald's from 2017. I think it's from McDonald's. It has to be, right? Uh, there is a Sony DVP and C665P CD and DVD player. Um, looks like we got a phone, a router. Uh, we'll have to see what else, but yes, it looks like mostly personal paperwork, but I'll go through this Just to make sure that there aren't any um, You know half used Gift cards T-bowl There's a comb Big savings a little book of from BJ's that looks like it's from that's from 2017. So yes, this stuff has been in storage since 2017. We even have the Samsung old tech. Toe number three, nothing too exciting. This is one of the totes that you could look through. So that's why I think no one, no one bid on this, this lot of totes. We are on tote four now. And I took a look at the, the ties. It's not Countess Wara, it's Countess Mara. And some of them can actually do well. It all depends on the pattern on the tie. It looked like there were a few that sold in lots of three to five for maybe 40 to $50. So those should be easy to list. And hopefully I have a lot of that brand in there and hopefully they sell. So tote four, there is a tote on the bottom that has not been opened at all. It still has both zip ties. So we are saving that for last. So don't leave yet because it says books on the label but it's not heavy so who knows what's in there but let's take a look at this tote looks like we got ourselves some undies and other clothes arizona thermal i think that's a jc penny brand we have some underwears <laughs> we have more ties tie mart timeart.com not sponsored uh, dress shirt Van Heusen. So we have the clothing section here. Um, looks like all men's. Nice sweater. No brand. What's this shirt? Oh, look at this hat. Crooks. It has Capone on it. 
<laughs> I can wear this to the storage auction and in intimidate everyone. I'm not putting this on my head though. That's a no. <laughs> you do not wear anything that comes out of a storage unit uh, without washing it. Uh, looks like a lot of dress shirts. Oh, what's down here? We have some fancy pillow cases more well used well worn dress shirts izod all wearable clothing more of these fancy pillowcases i know we want to get to the last tote to see what's in there who cares about dress shirts what's this a hoodie Plain. Oh no, what's on it? You're weird. I like it. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Some gap socks. That's a nice thermal. I mean flannel. You can always use a nice flannel. Ugh. We have more fancy towels, pillow cases. All right, enough with the clothes. Let's get to the tote that has not been opened and see what's in that. Last tote. Need the box cutter to open this guy up. Box cutter ain't cutting it. We need the clippers. We don't mess around here. All right, there's one. I really want to peek, but I got to open the other side. Let's just flip it around. I'll do this side. All right, this is it. This can make or break. The $25 that I spent. I'm gonna close my eyes, tilt it. <laughs> well, it is not books. What the heck? We got some white, white jeans. Exios, product of quality researched and tested. Never heard of the brand. We got another pair. Oh my gosh, we got a vest. This is fancy. Another Exios, made in China. Wear that with your Al Capone hat and you're gonna be looking good. I was kinda hoping for books. <laughs> Look at these, another dress shirt. I think we got a whole. We got one that's like, this is bedazzled. Oh, what is this? Did they make this? Did it come like this? Oh, they made this. <laughs> Victorio, Victorio St. Angelo, but I'm pretty sure they used their own puff paint. Maybe they didn't, I don't, I don't know. No, look at that. They had, made in China. They had to use their own puff paint on this. We're bringing back the puff paint craze. Remember that? I did that. Ooh, there's some jeans. Okay, we got some shoes. Maybe these will save this tote. What's this guy? Let's wait on the shoes. We got a belt buckle, more towels, shower curtain. <laughs> we got disappointment. I'm not too disappointed. Oh, we have more shoes. Calvin Klein. Oh, this is the matching one for the other another box. These guys look a little worn. We got their shoes galore on the bottom. Michael Kors jeans, those are nice. We have a nice sweater. I know that Exios, I'm probably not even pronouncing it right, but. All right, let's look at these shoes. This is it. This is the last thing for my $25 gamble. They wrapped them, so they must be pretty good. Calvin Klein, those are shiny. Another one's in here. Whew. Fancy, fancy to go with the puff painted suit jacket, I suppose. <laughs> $25, five totes. Uh, I think the money, well, a lot of these clothes are sellable. Shoes are sellable. I mean, these are nice. You know, you're going to a wedding, going into the city, need to dress fancy, going to the opera, put these on. The ties, we'll have to do a little bit of research on them. That would be great if I could throw up a lot of three to five ties and get 40 to $50. They're definitely vintage. They're older, so that's a plus. And then we have the Murano glass decanter. Hopefully more of the little glasses are in the broken milk glass tote, but 
What an array. You have the housewares, the shoes, and then the clothing. I was really hoping this would have been books. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe the books are next time. So this is what it's like buying a pallet at a storage pallet auction. It's interesting. It's interesting. Prices were going high. I mean, there were some pallets that sold for $400. And when I looked in the box, I just saw clear glassware. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> So we'll see what the next auction holds. Hopefully, maybe I'll get a, a good palette one day. These aren't bad, but I would really like a palette of all my favorite things. Whether or not that will happen, we'll have to see. But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you are not subscribed, <laughs> the neighbor just went by. <laughs> hey, subscribe to me. <laughs> and I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Move.